Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Graveyard Keeper. This will be part 29 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we finished up, we built the Alchemy Bench level 2. We started doing a little bit of Alchemy, and uh, we decided that we're going to deal with zombies this episode. And that's what we're going to do. But what I also found out is that uh, to get health solution, we can decompose hiccup grass. Uh, which, of which we have like 10. So I'm going to grab that. And toxic extract was... Something. It was onion or a yellow... Uh, not yellow, orange jelly. Which I don't think we have any orange jelly. Is that correct? We don't have any orange jelly. We have blue jelly and we've had green jelly, but not orange. So we can't get Toxic Extract just yet, which is something we needed for the other thing. Something we needed for whatever this was. Acid, wasn't it? Yeah, Acid needs Toxic Extract. We shouldn't have. So Health Solution though, we can get that from Hiccup for us. Oh, right, which I have to do myself. Boom, Health Solution. So just put that away. Easy. Uh, we do have to go get some salt for the uh, spices that we need to fix the trader. Or the spices that we need to go give to the witch to fix the trader. Um, and I think we have one thing of salt in here, right? Yeah. We have two actually, but it's fine. Okay, so we can sort that out and then we'll move on to zombies. Straight away. But I, I just like, I just looked up alchemy to kind of figure out a little bit of what we need to do and this is where we got to. So, go spices. Boom. I don't really remember what we needed those for. It was, I'm pretty sure it was for the what's he, wasn't it? You need Silver Star Pumpkin. Uh, I need a cure for his curse. I think that's what it was. Which actually, wow, he's here right now. <gasps> If I go really quick, I might be able to make it. Okay, zombies are on hold. We need to rush this to try and get get the cure for the merchant. We're probably going to make it with like just enough time. There he is. Ugh. Uh, I have that cure. Here, I brought this cure for you. Clotho told me it would help. Mm, let me try it. I'll just sprinkle it on these fried grasshoppers. Mmm, delicious. Even tastier than before. Thank you so much. Where did you get this precious ingredient? I just made it myself. All it took was some alchemy and a bit of common sense. Interesting, interesting. I see many possibilities here. This flavor could open many gates. Even perhaps the palace gates. I need to arrange a dinner for some of the royal council members. And that's where I need your help. I need you to cook great dinner for five people. Just make some snacks, some main course, and some dessert. But they should be all of the highest quality. Why me? I'm no good at all this cooking stuff. I can trust no other soul in the town. The stakes are too high. Why don't you cook it yourself? Nonsense, I'm a foodie, not a cook. Don't worry, you can do this. And that spice you made, it'll make this dinner unforgettable. Great. Great. Okay, but I can trade with him now. Ooh, faceted diamond. Silk. Don't we need that for something? I'm going to take like four of these. I'm pretty sure we do need it for something. Hmm. Better grape seeds. Okay, just one second there. Hold that thought because... We need silver star wine, yeah. So let's buy like as many of these as we can. Which I guess is eight. Sure. But that's like that's just the price of doing business. We need to get silver star grapes so we can make silver star wine. We we know that. Hmm. So, right, zombies. Sorry, I'm just thinking to myself. And 
and drinking my delicious Coke. Totally not sponsored. Man, I wish I was sponsored by Coke. What a deal that would be. Okay, so we need... All uh, right, four wooden planks and four complex iron piles. We can do that. Uh, in fact, while we're at it... I might just go get one of these logs. Also, I... I like the fact that we're glossing over the whole we get the salt for the spices from burning up dead bodies. Just, just putting that out there, like, maybe that's why it tastes so good. Maybe everyone here is secretly a cannibal. They, like, eat the flesh of bodies. They don't mind the salt made from bodies. Just sounds strange. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Alright, planks. We need flitching for that. Or oh, flitch, rather, which we can make pretty easily. Mm hmm. Four wooden planks. And we'll just do the old one hand shoving roasted apples into our mouth, and the other hand work in the, work in the workbench. Mm hmm. Boom. And then we need four complex iron parts. Which shouldn't be terribly difficult to get our hands on. It's one, and I believe one of them makes three. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Boom. So there's four simple iron parts. I do want to check the press, actually. But yes, you need quite a lot for grape juice. You need 15 grapes for grape juice. We can make seed oil. No idea it was four, but let's go for it. Hemp seed oil. Seems legit. And we'll go plant some of these grapes. Again, just sort of while we're here. Oh, and I will bash this to pieces. I know we're going to need some more stone soon-ish. Is that a bashable one too? Yeah, it is. Boom. About one. One piece of stone. That was garbage. Uh, okay, so we'll just plant these leafy boys. There we go. Cool. So every week we're going to have to go back and buy more silver grape seeds. It is basically what I'm seeing. Like, any time we get the opportunity, we, we should. Okay, so, zombie workbench, eh? Here we go. We're ready. In fact, I might even dump that hiccup grass off downstairs. Down, down under the church while we're here. Uh, resurrection table. We'll put it right... Probably should have left this bit for the zombies and then like... No, I mean we can do like business next door. You know, we got you know, business over here and, and party over this side. And we've got storage off in the, you know, right next to the chute. I think that's pretty handy. So. Ooh, okay. We need to go get the body. Where do we put the body? Hmm, okay. What I'm going to do is dump off this hiccup grass, just in case we ever need health solution again, which it seems like we will, because we need a lot of spices. Yeah, silk, what do we need that for? Uh, it doesn't go in there, it goes in here. We needed silk for something, but for the life of me, I'm going to leave that there too. For the life of me, I cannot remember. I might just leave it down here. I think. Oh, I didn't. I was supposed to talk to him about the trade license. That's what I forgot to do. Shit. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, the silk was for the um the church, the pews, the comfy pews. That's what it was for. Oh my god. Okay, we'll sleep it off, and then we'll go get the body. I'm pretty sure I left it up in the bee hive area. Which reminds me, we do need to get more bees as well. I think that's... Like, it's one of the things I love about this game and kind of hate about it, that there's always just more stuff to be done. If you get what I mean, like... You, the scope of what you're doing starts very small. 
And you just kind of sort out, you know, your little thing, and you're like, oh, this is how I make planks, and this is how I do this. But then as it goes on and on and on, you get so, like, you figure out how to make all this stuff, but at the same time, you end up with so much more stuff to make. Like, it's crazy just how much you end up with. Because really, we're still running around trying to do things at the same frequency as we were at the start of the game. And yet, we've got a pretty good sort of thing going at the moment. God, that reminds me. Maybe I should play, like, Factorio. Factorio is kind of fun. Uh, right, we'll throw this on. Uh, do I have to put the body, like, here? I'm confused. Do I... But how do I put body on thing? Do I put it here and then... Can I not use that body? I mean, if I can't, it's pretty easy to just, you know, chop this one up and use it. Like, that that works fine by me. That's a five-thing body. But I thought the idea was you could, like, put, put things on it. Alright, we'll just leave that body there for the moment. Maybe I have to build a pallet near it or something? A little bit confused. A little bit confused, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll work that out in a minute. So, we are going to have to grow some more carrots, though. Because we're going to need the donkey again. So, we've got scrape seeds. Ooh, onion seeds. Oh, we do have some onion seeds. Not enough, though. Carrot seeds, there we go. Just give me all of this. And do we have much peat in here? In fact, we have none. That's a bit slack, isn't it? Because we put it all downstairs, didn't we? Okay, but nevertheless, we'll make a bit more. And we'll just plant this stuff. Nah, just... Seed it up. <laughs> Didn't know this was a Farmyard Keeper. I thought this was Graveyard Keeper. There we go. Do you have anything else to plant? We got enough space for 20 more seeds. So what do we got? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give what you got. There we go, there's two spots. There's another spot. Lentils, why not? And that seems fine. Oh, but hang on, lentils need like... We can't plant lentils, can we? We need like a special thing for them. One. Yeah, we probably need the trellis for lentils. And we need the garden bed with sticks. Which we need five sticks. Which I think we can manage. But yeah, sticks are something we're running very short on, aren't we? Um, we don't need like a technology for lentils or something, do we? No, it's just just growing. Yeah, I think we just need sticks. I think we need to use the garden bed with sticks. So we probably need like... I'll say 20 sticks. Oh, go away, bats. I'll just grab their wings because we are going to have to make some more paper at some point. More honey. Won't say no. Yeah, I am a bit confused about the whole zombie thing, but... Maybe we can't use that zombie, even though I think we're supposed to be able to use that zombie. Nice try, Bat Boy. You guys don't really learn, do you? You're a bit slow. Ah, there we go. Bushes. That's two sticks. I mean, what did I say? 20. Because you want to make four 
of the plots with sticks, which I think is perfectly reasonable. Okay, we'll just ugh, knock all this out. Get some more sticks. Munch on some of these roast apples, or baked apples? I don't remember. Uh, how many have we got? Eight. I'm gonna need a lot more than that. I don't know why that's like an interactable thing there. That, that like, damn. It's kind of weird. Thankfully we have a lot of bushes up here that we can chop off. And I think we do get sticks from the like sticky trees there. Spindly trees. Okay, we need one more. Boom, there we go. We'll grab some more honey while we're here. And then I want to chop down one of those spindly trees. Just to see if we do get sticks, just for future reference. Yes, we do. We do get trip. We do get our sticks. Excellent. Okay, so we know we've got a fair number of sticks kind of saved up in the trees there. So that works out just fine. Wait, this is the wrong way. Where am I going? Wow, what a windy, foggy, just rubbishy day. What a horrible night. Okay, so we'll put up these watchamajiggers. Oh, more apples, actually. We'll get that first. We need more apple trees. Like, the berries are kind of lame. There's not much we can do with the berries. Well, not much we try to do with the berries, and we don't have that many of them. But we don't get that many of them. Right, we can make a pail of berry juice. We can make a pail of apple juice. Let's try that. Let's, let's try that once. What's it do? We can just use it. I guess. Oh, it makes us bottles of apple juice. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I don't know if that's really worth it. Because, let's see, that was 10 apples make 5. Or... We can get... So, 10 apples make 5. So, 2 per apple juice makes... I think that gives you 12, whereas one for one, these give you eight. Feel like that's a better deal. Oh, and there's two spare in there. Uh, honeycomb can go in here, honey can go in there. Is there anything else we want to put away? Oh, more berries. Maybe we just pull these out and turn them into berry juice. Maybe that's what we can do with berries. As opposed to apples. Because what do we what do we do with berries? Sorry. I like went back and forth. Do we make it here or do we bake it? No, we can make berry juice like this. And that seems like a bad trade. Or we can make berry juice like this. Yeah, which uses 25. And I'm guessing is probably gonna give us give us five bottles each. Yeah, so that makes five for one bottle, which is worth 18, and individually they are worth five. So it, there is a bit of loss there, but we don't lose our apples, which is much better used for uh, apple, like baked apples. So I think that's probably what we do. Berries, we turn into juice. Apples, we hold on to. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Okay, that can go back in there. We'll put that in there. <laughs> I'm going to plant some sticky boys. Sticky boys. 
I think we plan them over this side, where we... No, I guess we ex get expanded ground here, but... We'll do like this. Can we... Do that. Ooh. We need to start getting rid of those maggots as well. We just seem to get a bunch of them. Ah, yeah, see, so we plant lentils, which makes sense because they're beans, right? Lentils are beans, so they would need to grow on a trellis. Makes perfect sense. And we'll just fertilize up sort of everything we haven't, haven't planted. Cool. We'll even go do the grapes while we're here. This is like the, the super gardening show with the Aussie nerd in this episode. <laughs> Wait, can we pick this? No, okay, that's just a feature. That's a feature. Call it Swamp Rock. Not to be confused with uh, School of Rock. Hard rock, soft rock. Uh, what other genres of rock are there? There's lots, I'm sure. And again, we'll just basically pick up any rocks we find. Oh, look at all the bushes over here. <gasps> cool. Cool, we have a lot then. We have a lot. Alright, we're going to go to sleep. Tomorrow is Watsy Day. Astrologer Day. I don't know if there's anything we really need on Astrologer Day. Because we can't get the restoration tools yet. No, wait, we have the restoration tools. We already did that, didn't we? Yeah, we need the acid. Okay. Uh, now maggots. Do we put them... Ah, they can also go into extract. What was with that wings? Are we at chaos? Yeah, chaos solution. Okay. Okay. This makes sense. Do we? Yeah, we did use up all our blood, didn't we? So let's just keep decomposing those. Uh. I guess we just put everything away, we'll put the fat away, we'll put the maggots away. Bat wings we will save to put into here for paper. And that seems legit. That seems like a day's work. We we worked hard. You see, red wine, we need two pails of grape juice. So if we make them both silver. So I'm gonna guarantee of silver. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we need to get. We need to get winemaking. The skill. Yeah, put the sticks away. We'll finally go to bed. I need to stop, like, thinking of more things to do before I just go to sleep. That's, uh. That's a first step. Just go to sleep. Hmm <laughs> hmm. Okay, so, what do we need for Wine Master? I'm guessing it is a farming and nature thing. Ew, it's all the way up here. That's pretty far. Ah, so you can make like cider. Ah, cool. Do we do this? Spend our blue? Are there any zombie blue things we want? Well, we could do Rider's Inspiration. Or we could do Rider. Which I think is probably not an awful idea. Graveyard Enhancement we could also do. Okay, what if we do... Right. Graveyard Enhancement and... Brewing. And Digestion. We have ten more blue... Smell of faith, embalming. Do 
We have second chance. Yeah, I know. We have second chance, but... We don't actually seem to be able to, you know, do the thing. Let's get embalming. We'll see what that looks like. So we can do mortuary rack and an embalming table. That's fun. Mm, we can get surgery eventually as well. Okay. We have a few things to do. Oh, there's experience in there I never picked up. Can't let that go to waste. So let's go down and check out... Ah, uh, no we can't. We need a body. We need an actual body, not the old zombie. Because for whatever reason it doesn't want to use that. Do you have carrots yet? No. Bummer. What does that actually leave us with? I guess we could look at improving our church and see if we can use that silk. Which I left somewhere. I think it was under the church. So what do we want for silk? What if you just want to... What if we just want to, like, make, say, two pews? Like, the front two most pews, they're like the VIP seating. You know, like, we replace these two with, with special pews, comfy pews. Okay, which we could do. Th this is doable. We have enough. Yeah, we have enough to do that. Ugh, the wooden jointings are a bit of a pain in the butt. Because those are the ones that require complex iron parts and wood. Ugh. I've immediately forgotten what those requirements were. I think it was eight and four. Sorry about that. I think the mouse trap just went off in my room. It was on a bit of a hair trigger. I don't even think there's a mouse in it. Um, but yeah, sorry. That gave me a bit of a fright just then. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, sorry, requirements. <laughs> Man, that, that is definitely just throw me for a loop. Um, yeah, so eight planks and four jointings. Ew. So 16 planks and eight jointings. I don't know if I like that. Or do jointings require steel parts? Damn, that might have been a thing. Right, jointings. No, so I need eight beams. Okay. Eight beams, which needs complex iron parts. So I need three sets of complex iron parts. Which is just this stuff. And then I need more complex iron parts anyway, and nails. I need all of those. I think I'm going to need more simple iron parts. Ah, sorry, I have to make them first, of course. Yeah, no, I need three of these. Done. I need... Three... I need eight of these. So, nine, because that's as close as I can get. Okay. And then we need... Planks as well, right? We need 16 planks. That's all my wood. <sighs> my god. That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. a lot of energy too. Okay. And then we have to turn that into jointings. Which we need eight. So yeah, I'm gonna need way more complex iron parts. Which means I'm gonna need more simple iron parts. Which means I'm gonna need more iron. <laughs> this is the whole thing. Um, we'll just take like six. That should be enough. Because I probably need more nails, too. So, simple iron parts. Oh, we do make six of them. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to need a double set of these. Right. 
Excellent. And then, do I need more nails? Certainly do. Certainly do. More nails. Done. Eight jointings. God, this is going to take an eternity. <laughs> God, do I even want to tear out the front ones, or do I just add more on the end? Is there enough space for more on the end? If there is more space for, like, on the bottom side, I will probably... Oh, okay, now we're draining our things, I haven't slept. That's fine. I'm, I'm done with my little adventure, I'll go to sleep right now. Yeah, <sighs> I don't remember, because I think we made enough pews to get us right to the end, didn't we? Right to the bottom? I cannot remember. I mean, need the silk. Where did I leave that? I didn't leave it up here, did I? No, okay, I think it's under the church. Because if it's not there and it's not here, which it's definitely not, it must be in here with the paper and stuff. <laughs> bum bum bum. Keep distilling more maggots just to get rid of them. Ooh, someone needs confessional. There you go. Oh, I didn't grab the things out, right. And no, I did run out. That is this, that as big as our church? Well, I suppose we can like get the building expansion or whatever. So I suppose it will get bigger. Right, like there's no more space for this here. No, none, none at all. So... We remove the first two pews, which are worth one each. Ooh. Get a whole bunch of just garbage. <laughs> so much metal scrap that we don't really give a shit about. And then we replace it with soft church benches. Which are... F that one's facing the wrong way. No. No, it's not. They're just... It's a really weird perspective. Yeah, no, they're facing the right way. Cool, which were three, so we effectively upgraded our thing by four here. Which, uh, like, I'm pretty hot for that. I'm pretty hot for that. Okay, let's ugh, drag some wood back. <laughs> we'll do it the cheeky way. Well, no, I won't. I won't rush it. I'll bring like a, two pieces back. I won't get a whole pile back. If I get time, I'll do it between episodes. But admittedly, I don't play this a lot in my spare time. Because I want to save it all for the videos, right? Priest, you, you best not be kicking my logs around. These are my logs to kick around, not yours. Okay. Mm hmm hmm. Oi! Back on there. Yeah, that's fine. Push it that way. There we go. Throw that there. Throw this here. At least now we have some logs. Not a, not a tremendous number. Okay. Well, I think we're going to leave this episode here. So, guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my, cha my channel and check out the other videos on there. Uh, if you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.